Hey, what is up everyone? So today we're doing a fun little thing. We're taking off this BCDD uh, actuator here off of the throttle body. It goes on the very bottom portion so you can never really see it. So we're gonna be taking that off today. So again, this is to help control the deceleration of the vehicle itself. I'm not too concerned of longevity since that engine probably has seen more life than me. So we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws to take off here. I have my Z Car Depot um, delete plate there, or block off plate, whatever you want to call it. And this guy is about to get. And let's see. Easiest way. Alright. That ain't gonna come out easily. Alrighty, so I had to get the drill, kind of figure this out, and also try to hammer some of these out, which completely destroyed this one right here. All the rest are pretty much off, and it's a little difficult to get them out with just one hand. But again, We'll see if I can take it all off cleanly. Okay, after a long painful having to use the... Uh, vice grips. God, I forgot to call them mm -hmm. vice grips. <clears throat> so after using the vice grips for like, felt like an hour, but it's actually less, I was able to take all of these off. And now we are able to just kind of sit this on here. Basically this part, Take this whole thing out, and that just sits right in here like that. And, or it sits right like this. Okay, perfect. That's the orientation it needs to be. These little screws are M, or two millimeters. I have a three mil, I don't think it's gonna work. But, you know what, let's still, uh, since this goes on like this, we'll just keep this gasket on here. I should probably just... No, I would leave it. No, I was gonna say I should probably clean it up a little bit better, but it's okay because I don't care too much about it. Yeah, not spotless. Today we do things that are irresponsible to everybody and myself. Hell yeah, brother. Um, I don't even think I need this gasket maker on here to be honest. Probably not. But yeah, it's okay. I have it here. This seems to work, just to at least get the the gasket and the gasket maker to seal and apply some pressure here. Nope. That's pretty hilarious. That actually works. No. <laughs> you can see here, that gasket fell out. This side on this side fell out. I have a vacuum port kind of... Uh, taken off and blocked off for I forgot what the reasoning was for this one but it was already open to begin with and I, I the only vacuum port I need to open is this one here that goes to the uh, distributor okay so now that the I actually just put everything back together uh, without showing you guys because it's super simple again four bolts one two three four and that's about it uh, make sure you put the vacuum lines back in there and we're ready to go and as you can see it's just right down here where you're deleting that uh, deceleration piece off and we're also taking those off that are have been on there for a while and you cannot get them off with the screw one more time over here ah uh, you cunt <sighs> but, yeah. Yeah. but that's basically it that's all that's how you do it and put it all together the car starts right back up with any with zero issues, except I do have an overheating issue. We just changed the thermostat on this, so it might be the, either the radiator or the water pump. So I'll try that next. <laughs> 